Composing gloves here and today we're looking at the latest and greatest from Denise Audio. We are looking at My Crush and Bite Harder. My Crush is a bit crusher you can actually get for free from them if you subscribe to their mailing list. And then Bite Harder is the more fully featured. Yeah, My Crush actually uses the same bit crushing algorithms as Bite Harder, but Bite Harder gives you all the bells and whistles. So let's go, let's start off with My Crush here. And the sound we're gonna be using to demonstrate some of these things is from an older track of mine called The Fat Man. And there's this crazy sound at the end that I thought would be perfect for this. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, so we're actually only gonna use half that. So I'm gonna just turn on the reactor bit. We are gonna start with My Crush since it is the free one. So, you know, go grab that. And the bit crushing part of it is down here in these two sliders. There is a resample which controls aliasing essentially. When you resample something, you alias the signal and it introduces all these extra harmonics and somewhat of a kind of a crazy way. And then we've got reduce which reduces the bit depth. The bit depth of course will correlate to this noise that's gonna come up since the bit depth is responsible for dynamic range. So when you reduce that, you end up introducing a bunch of noise. So let's go ahead and just dial each of these up individually. So that should give you an idea of what these offer you. This is typically what you would kind of expect out of a bit crusher. So you can go really hard with this. I'm gonna dial these up just a little bit and we'll bring the resample up just a little bit more. Resample is fun to automate because you get that sort of pitch movement as it goes up and down. So with these two settings, you get a bunch of auxiliary features, input, output, low pass, high pass, uh, pre and post. But the two up here are extremely interesting. You've got a bunch of curves that you can use to basically just EQ the sound after. Yeah. So you could emulate some of this with some EQs pre and post. And then you've got a stutter control, which uh, is basically a gate. So you can choose your speed here. And th these are individually automatable. So let's just say I set this at like eighth triplets. Sure, why not? And then you can activate it with this little dot here. And that is essentially the stutter control. So with this information, we can move on over to the bite harder plugin so in bite harder we get a lot of the extra bells and whistles that we don't get with my crush namely the big one is the push pull i guess i should note here as well the resample and reduce controls are down here so it's, it's the same plugin you've got your high pass your low pass uh you know you're in out but now we've got a clipper we've got a push pull there's an additional uh, glitch control which is basically ring modulation there's a randomization so Bunch of extra little things so what we're going to do is let me show you the push pull so push pull essentially you can boost the signal beforehand uh, like so but this is going to you know be problems with headroom you're going to have this unusual bump down there but it may have a character you really enjoy so for example let's say that we really like this sound versus you know this was what it was so we're just going for you know maybe a lower end character well, you could always put an EQ after and then pull that back. And then by that way, you can get the character change, but also get a totally balanced thing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dial up pull while this is playing and just show you what that does. So let's do a, a before and after here a little bit more clearly. So we'll do 100% no pull. And this is with the pull. And this is without the boost. So that's the kind of thing you get. Now, one thing I find kind of fun to do is to put the pull at 100% and then just swing this around. This is something that would be a lot more difficult to do with, you know, the pre-post EQs. You'd have to like link them via some, uh, you know, third knob in order to control them so that they move at the same time, where here it's just sort of built in. So it could be kind of a fun area to mess around with. <laughs> Thank you. 
you can get some really, really squashed sounds this way. And it's just a fun workflow style. I actually kind of liked this mid-range madness. So pretty cool there. Now you have a clipper over here. It does exactly what you think it would do. It clips the signal. And then you can adjust it with the output. And you see these actually adjust down here. So they, they control the same thing. After this, you've got randomization, which will give you a random curve. And this is another one where I, I like leaving pull at 100% because it just gives you such a crushed sound. It's so nice. So from here, we've got a couple different tonal decisions to make. So you've got, for example, drive, which is kind of your classic saturation algorithm. Yeah. So if you want to push hard that way, you've got glitch and glitch is a ring modulator. This can do, this can sound really cool on voices, for example. Here, this is what's going to happen. It, it pretty much if you, if you have something that's crazy and you want it to just go really crazy, you can just toss some ring modulation on it and usually that'll get the job done. And it typically, I find, requires some automation for it to really fit in a track. Uh, you may find a static spot you like, but I usually find automation does a bit better of a job. Maybe hook this up to an envelope controller if your DAW has one of those. And then afterwards, we've got the repeat and stutter. So stutter, we already looked at, is essentially just a gate. And if your mix, by the way, if you're browsing presets, uh, the mix will change. So the stutter is only going to stutter right the wet signal. It's not going to stutter everything. And so just be aware that if you're like, why isn't the stutter working, that your mix might be a little low. Stutter. Now, the one I really like is repeat. Repeat's amazing. So it's just it just repeats the phrase according to the speed that you set. And these like basically make it tempo sync or not. And this could be just totally incredible. When you combine automation, you can get so groovy with this and you can write out like one sound, but get like a bunch of different things out based on when you start and stop clicking this. So one of my favorite controls in here, repeat. But as far as like the usability standpoint goes, like obviously the sound is paramount, but this is just so nice to have it right there. It's a cool thing. Finally, there's a silky control that you may have noticed. Silky just sort of smooths out what resample and reduce to. So let's just get kind of crazy with these. All right, and now we'll dial up the silky. First, we'll go 100%. Biggest change, right? So another one that in combination with automation, especially if you're doing something very cinematic that requires a lot of big sort of crazy impacts, especially if it's like you're going for epic sci-fi kind of stuff, then this automating these in various ways over the course of the hit can really be a nice way to get that big cinematic feel. So that is my crush in Bite Harder. Would I recommend it? Absolutely, especially with the addition of the push-pull EQ. It's definitely made me interact with bit crushing in a way I didn't before. You don't need as crazy of a stack. Uh, it's built right into the, the plugin. I love the silky control and the ability to just sort of tame it in and out. So if you have a more aggressive part of your track, you're able to sort of rein it in exactly how you want. And I love the repeat control. And there's, there's plugins that you could put this in post to do stuff like this, but man, it is so glorious just to have some of this built right in. So as far as bit crushers go, if you don't have one, I definitely think this could be your main bit crusher that you use. And if you do have bit crushers, I think it offers uh, things that others don't. So if you're looking for just, you know, some additional flavors of plugins to add to your collection, this is one I would consider. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day. Nothing's more important to the fat man than eating.